I'm just gonna give you a little lowdown of how we actually perform the procedure. Now at this point, we've already decided which product we're gonna use. We're either gonna use a dermal filler, like Juvederm Voluma or Radius or even Renuva, or we've decided that we're gonna do a fat transfer. We've already done the um, fat grafting to process and retrieve the fat and get it ready to inject. Now, before the procedure is actually started, we actually prepare the entire area with iodine. We prep the skin because this is a very sterile procedure. And then I perform what's called a nerve block. So what that is, is, is kind of like similar when you go see the dentist, they inject an anesthetic into your gums and you're completely numb. This works exactly the same way. I inject lidocaine down there and the entire organ is completely anesthetized and numb. You won't feel any pain whatsoever. So we're gonna use for demonstration purposes, a chicken neck. Uh, because we cannot show the actual video of a real organ online or in social media, this is the next best thing. So they, hopefully they'll allow this, me to publish this on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube as well. So remember the patient has been prepped and cleaned with iodine. The entire area has been anesthetized with a nerve block. Patient's not feeling a thing. So what I do use is a blunt cannula, which this is, it looks like a needle, but it's not a needle. The tip is actually blunt, it's rounded, it doesn't pierce anything, it's not sharp. But in order to access the organ, I do need to make an an, a small incision or a poke hole, and I use a, an 18 gauge needle and make a little insertion hole. And then I'm able to access the organ or underneath the skin with my cannula, with that porthole. And the misconception that people have is that we're injecting the filler or fat into the actual body of the penis, but in actuality, we are only underneath the skin. So as you can tell, this cannula is gliding in a very smooth fashion underneath the skin. And similar to the actual procedure, uh, you know, in this case, we're using ultrasound gel, but we would be using either a filler or fat and just putting really small amounts, I call it little ribbons of product, just along the shaft and really small ribbons. And we're doing it in a very uniform and smooth manner because we want this to be nice and smooth and symmetrical. We don't want any irregularities or bumps. So the actual control over the syringe and the plunger pressure is of utmost importance and your practitioner injector should be very skilled in how well they can modulate that pressure to deliver the precise amount of product. And so the motion just continues like this, it's back and forth. I do use several, uh, more than one entry point into the glands. And again, we're underneath the skin. You can't inject the filler into the body of the organ because you're gonna occlude the blood vessels and block the circulation. So we're strictly just underneath the skin and it's a very safe plane to be in. We're using a blunt tip cannula so we're not piercing anything. You're still gonna have bruising, but um, this is a very safe, a much safer uh, modality with a cannula than with an actual needle. And there's a lot less chance of um, getting the product into a blood vessel or artery that could cause some problems. Now, it's really important that the product is just delivered uh, uniformly and symmetrically in a circumferential manner and is deposited evenly throughout the organs. So there you go. You can see how it's done. And um, I'm actually putting a little bit of this ultrasound gel and you can see a little bit of a correction underneath the skin, the ultrasound gel being delivered underneath this chicken neck skin. So that actually summarizes the actual procedure and hopefully gives you some insight visually into how the procedure is done and maybe even alleviate some fears or preconceived notions about how the procedure is done and how it can actually improve you in terms of your penile growth enhancement.